Hello, welcome to another episode of Cam Fashion Journey. Wow, time really flies and Super Bowl has just completed and we are into the month of February already. So as I was looking through some pages of fashion magazines throughout the uh, internet and I came across a couple of this a, a denim recrafting which gave me the inspiration for today's episode. Let's come and check out the denim recrafting. So what I have in my own personal collection is that foremost I have this recrafted denim blazer whereby it is totally a, a unlined as you can see. So what happened is that my craft master did is that he has taken out all the white top stitch and replaced it with the orange top stitch and the patch pocket he took it out and reversed it and then he also put on the uh, his personal touch of the uh, orange top stitch across the entire outfit and this is from the tailored line of Levi's which is the Levi's line 8 and actually the star of the outfit is this particular piece which is the over shirt or the or you can call it a shirt jacket from Dockers K1 and then it has been recrafted because the original is a piece of a Japanese chambray and then what they did is that they have patched it up over here with a railroad stripe cloth and as we move down all this patching is being seen on the railroad stripe cloth is on the shirt jacket and this one is the particular piece the recrafting which is really the jam because it is with flocking on the patch up of the uh, railroad patch cloth and of course the shirt jacket piping you can see it has the uh, railroad stripe cloth, uh, cloth on it so no details or luxury has been spared Coming down is this particular pair of reproduction of the uh, 1901 Levi's 501 whereby you can see there is the uh, tag button over here and again it has been washed and recrafted to give the minus look and it has also patched up over here recrafted with the railroad stripe cloth and then also with another piece of darker denim to give the contrast and you can see more recrafting over here and also on this side and of course this outfit will be great with a pair of boots from Timberland Boot Company made from Hovind leather now this is a head to toe on how this outfit look now let's have a closer look of this outfit minus the denim blazer because we can look at all the lovely detailing and the flocking on the shoulder, on the chest part over here with a uh, metal buttons from K1 Dockers and you can see the lovely detailing it's a very simple monochromatic outfit last but not least is the vintage Brooks Brother button down shirt from 1982 whereby I have worn the collar is already frayed and then again I have some recrafting on it to patch up all the fray on the collar I have a piece of a uh, old fabric to patch it up across which is make it interesting now, as with all denim outfits it's always very important to look what is hidden on the back of the shirt jacket and also with the pair of denim now you can see over here what is really interesting and unorthodox is that they did a recrafting over here again with the railroad craft on the elbow of the right sleeve and it continue on with another recrafting over here which is the with the railroad craft and then with the flocking lovely and also on top of that, let's look at the pair of a uh, replica of the uh, 1901 Levi's 501. It got the classic back cinch and it got the uh, rivets all on the side and then with a bit of a uh, distress over here 
on the back pocket and also on this side of the a, uh, left back patch pocket. Lovely. That you like this episode of Ten Fashion Journey, which talks about some simple denim recrafting. Do smash the like button and also press the subscribe button and I look forward to see you in the next episode. Bye!